Hey y'all, uh, today we're not monkeying around. We're gonna get right into talking about functions of an operating system. Cool. Okay, so what's going on with this operating system thing? What are they and where are they? <laughs> uh, operating system is software, okay? And it's actually between the applications that are running on your computer, the programs on your computer, and the hardware on your computer. So it's the in-between. Um, it's what an operating system is. So kind of think of uh, application software on the top. So that's kind of what you're uh, interacting with or the user is. Then application software interacts with the operating system. And then the operating uh, system interacts with the hardware. Okay, so basically the, the middle person um, in this uh, kind of three-layered uh, system, yeah. So in between, yeah. All right, so what else can we call an operating system? All right, there's several different names, actually. And um, well, one, th one thing here lies OS, 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 OS. So that's just operating system. And uh, also, sometimes we say software environment. Sounds kind of smart, yeah? And then software platform. Ooh, what's the platform of your software? OK, so that's, that's what we say. But typically, you just say OS. And uh, typically, no one else knows what that means. <laughs> All right, so some examples of the operating systems. And actually, you all probably already know uh, some operating systems already, right? Like Windows 8, OK? Uh, another one is the Mac, a mass, a Mac OS X, OK, or 10. And then uh, Linux, OK? You might not know that uh, so well, but that's an uh, open source operating system that's uh, uh, really popular, and um, anyone can take the code, download it, and, and work on it and improve it. Then another operating system that actually came out of Berkeley um, is Unix. Okay, and um, at uh, UH, actually, we have uh, what we call UH Unix, and it's, it's an operating system that you can use um, that's part of your UH account, actually. So a lot of times we use that. Um, when we're creating web pages, or uh, if you take uh, programming classes, in particular uh, ICS 212, that's C and C++ languages, we, um, we use the Unix operating system to write your programs, compile them, check and see if they're correct, and then run them. Okay, that's on the Unix operating system. Command line interface, it's like an old school interface, and pretty but still used uh, in today's world. Okay, let's mosey on here. And um, so what was our point? Our point was functions, okay? So now we know what an operating system is, we gotta figure out what it does. Okay, and it, and it does several things. One is manage the resources. Okay, so all the computers, you know, they have uh, different resources, data, printing, that kind of stuff. So you gotta, you gotta manage that. Then y'all kinda already know this, so it's, it's running your applications. That's another thing it does. And then something it does that's almost invisible, but that we always use, a user interface, okay? So, um, you know, you see all your buttons and, and uh, different icons uh, on your desktop. So that's the user interface. Okay, it works so well, it's almost invisible. Any, any good tool. If it's a really good tool, then a lot of times you don't really notice its existence. But if a tool misbehaves, then you're like, ah, how come my lawnmower don't work? Or how come my operating system doesn't work? Ah. Okay. So let's get in more details as to what the operating system does. Okay. So we said uh, managing the resources. Okay. I, I think resources, I think like, Trees are like water, but uh, computers also have uh, different resources. One is just start the thing running, okay? Start up. Uh, that's done uh, in part by the operating system. And then providing security. Okay, so security is big these days. We have um, uh, many classes at, here uh, at Leeward in security. Um, and uh, you know, operating system is part of that. Protect your computer from 
unwanted visitors. Then schedule tasks. Okay, so you know, you're going to have several things running at the same time. Maybe you're printing and you're on the internet and you know, you're doing a chat with your friend, so it's going to juggle those, schedule the tasks. And then monitor performance. There's, there's a way to kind of check on your computer uh, what's running, what's not, and, and how well things are running. Um, so it's going to monitor that. Let's see, what else is going on? Uh, one thing is coordinate everything. Okay, so you know, I keep having these uh, icon, uh, little icons with people juggling. So that's what your operating system do, is doing, it's, it's juggling everything. Uh, we're doing things like running programs, okay, which we're, we're all familiar with. And there's memory, okay, so it's going to manage the memory as programs are running. It's going to switch off programs and put them in memory and take them back out. What else? Uh, data storage. Okay, where's all your data? All right, so it's going to go retrieve that data or store more data or update the data or, you know, all that kind of stuff, juggle the data. Even when you're printing stuff, that is part of your operating system and, and running that kind of thing. You know, stuff like your monitor, your keystrokes, your mouse. Okay, so again, just kind of think about it, all this hardware. Okay, so I'm clicking, I'm typing, I'm looking. All right, so somehow the computer needs to register that, you know, you type the letter A on your keyboard. That'll go into the operating system, and then that's going to send that over to whatever program you're using, um, um, and then display the letter A, for example. Okay, so again, this, this operating system thing, uh, you got your hardware, you know, stuff that you can shake here <laughs> if, you, if you want. Uh, and then you got, you know, there's software that's doing different things, showing you different things. And uh, so the, the operating system is between those and then juggling. I like to think about juggling when I think of operating systems. Okay, let's see what else we got here about our operating systems. Uh, running applications. All right, so how does it run so many programs at the same time? Okay, it's, it's wow, I mean, how, how can it, you chat, and then the monitor's displaying, you're printing. Uh, how does it do that? It's the same time, right? Well, actually, it's not at the same time. It is an illusion. Okay, you can't run things at the same time. So it actually uh, switches between the applications or programs in very small uh, uh, units of time. So it appears it's the illusion of being simultaneous. So this is called multitasking. Okay, it's, it's just like a movie. A movie's uh, uh, an illusion. It's really a bunch of frames put together. So same thing with our operating system. So we're going to run uh, this one program a little bit, then the next program a little bit, then the next one a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And then so it looks like all these things are running at the same time. But really they're not. It's an illusion. Yeah. Like many things in life, it is but an illusion. <laughs> okay. So what else do operating systems do? Okay. So then you're thinking about uh, programs. They're, some are running in the foreground. You can see them. And then some are in the background. They're open, but they're, they're running behind the scenes. Okay, so they're doing the work for us, even though we cannot see them. Let's see. Okay, so uh, the last function here is to create a user interface. So when we think of uh, quote unquote modern operating systems, they typically have a graphical user interface, so GUI. All right, so that's all these icons, and you got a mouse, and you're dragging and dropping and doing that kind of stuff. And um, so that, that's kind of uh, intuitive. And then, you know, more recently we have the touch screens. You know, even my, um, one of my cousin, one of my, actually my nephew, I only got one nephew, I got like eight nieces now, I think. Anyway, my nephew, uh, when he was very young, I think like maybe one or two, he could already uh, use his father's iPhone. I think he could do the lightsaber um, app. And then he actually somehow accidentally sent an email uh, from my brother's uh, cell phone. Go figure. 
so you know, the, the, today's operating systems are trying to be very intuitive. Okay, even a two-year-old can use it. Now that, that's in opposition to uh, kind of older operating systems. Uh, the, the user interface that they had was command line. Let's, let's kind of get to that slide and then I'll talk a little bit more about the command line uh, interface. Uh, so Unix is kind of an old style um, operating system interface and it's called command line interface. So basically you're just typing these uh, commands into the computer and you know you might think well you know I'm just I'm, I'm typing these commands and then I gotta kind of remember all these commands and well that's kind of mysterious and a little harder to use rather than drag and drop or click and stuff like that. Um, but uh, you know just typing a few uh, letters can get these commands that do all kind of stuff. So it's kind of a trade-off and then some things are faster with a graphical interface and some things are slower and same with the, um, the command line. Some things are really fast and some things are not so fast. Um, if you saw the Matrix movie that they were using the command line interface for that. At any rate, uh, so that's all I have for y'all and we'll see y'all in a little while. Okay.